Good morning to you. This morning I'm going to cover question 5 of the May-June 2016 TOS1512 exam paper. This question looks quite exciting and very not too challenging. Um, well, for the, the simple one I'm going to do, I'm going to do 5.1. This is for 14 marks. And 14 marks is also quite a high sum. So based on the previous video, which gives you 31 marks, plus this 14, if you get all the marks, you're going to basically get your 45, which will send you skyrocketing through the exam paper because that's more than 50%. Um, okay, so let's get started. First it says here, consider the class specifications interfaces for the classes SA to UK and SA to Arika. I don't know why they put it Arika. I would have just left it to Africa. But anyway, below. Class SA to UK represents flight details and requirements to visit the UK. And class SA to Arika represents flight details and requirements to visit African countries. Okay, so if we have a look here, we've got a class SA to UK, which is basically defined over here. Then we've got our public uh, member functions. And then we've got our private member variables. Now, if you've watched the previous video, you'll notice that I seem to want to always implement the member variables first. And you'll see that I've already started doing it on this side here. Yeah? Basically, I've looked at the question and I saw what is common between both of these classes. And I seem to find that if I have a look here at this SA to UK and SA to, well, now they're using Africa, but anyway, okay. Um, you'll see there it's got a, a name, which is a data type of string. It's got a passport, which is a data type of string. It's got a to date, which is a data type of string. A return date, which is a data type of string. A to number, which is a data type of string. And a return number uh, of data type string. The only thing that's extra on this, actually, this snippet of code is this YF, yellow fever certificate. So, I mean, that's the only uh, member variable that's going to belong to this class, class SA to Africa. And if we have a look at, the, at our first class, SA to UK, you'll see there we've got string name, we've got string passport, string to date, string return date, string to number, string return number. But guess what? There's two extra member variables here. So... That's why we don't, we can't include these in our main travel class because the question over here says to us, create a base class travel from which both classes, SA to UK and SA to Africa, can be derived. Provide only the interface for the base classes. So this is basically saying I just want the header file and I want you to identify what is important to the travel class. And basically, we've got these data members. Those are common between both classes, so we don't need to repeat them in each class. If you remember from uh, splitting your classes up, uh, there was a question 7, I think it was, in assignment 2 that talked about derived classes. Uh, and so basically, we take what is important in both classes, extract it, put it in our base class, and then our base class then holds the, the starting thing. So, basically, if we have a look here, I've got a, a default constructor, which has no um, parameters to pass through. And I thought that since I didn't show you guys what I do, and I keep on explaining to you this is what I do, um, I thought I'd show you in this uh, example here. So now, I've got a default constructor. Okay, this one. A overload constructor. Okay, now what am I going to do with an overload constructor? Do you remember from the previous uh, video? Well, basically, like I said, I'm going to copy the default one. 
I'm going to rename this to overloaded. Okay. And then I'm going to copy all these nice uh, things that they have over here. And I'm going to paste it in here. Oh, darn. It's really thrown my line off. But guess what? Thank goodness for delete. So I'm going to just delete those things. I'm going to remove these um, semicolons. And I'm going to add my colons into the end. My commas, I should say. And basically define my overload constructor based on this information that is being given. Okay. Get it done. Okay. I'm going to take the only one out because I've already written overload constructor. Very lazy typist. Um, okay, so that is done. So now I can delete all of these other extras here. Okay. Now the thing is, it's all good and well. I've got a default constructor and I've got an overload constructor. But now, how are any of these other sub functions going to get um, these member variables that are private? So now I need to add access fun, uh, access um, now access a member functions or access a function. So what's my first one? Hey, guess what? I've got a string of type name. Okay, so I want to return a string, and guess what? I'm going to call this access thing get name. I don't know why they would want to put it as a um, yeah as a as an underscore, but you can just do it like that. Get name. I don't want to pass any parameters. And I don't want to forget my constant because I'm not changing anything. I'm actually, yeah, I'm actually just retrieving information. So now I can do the same for all of these other ones. I just copy them like that, say that, and I add this word get. That's like uh, very difficult to add. And the word const and I can basically do that for all of these. Okay. Then the next one is you've got a, a mutator function. Yes. And that one, generally I leave it as void because all we're doing is setting. And we call it set. And we can leave it as name. But with this one, I have to pass it a parameter. So now the parameter I'm going to pass it is string. And I have to give it a name, but something that's different than this one here. So to make it very difficult, I'm going to add the in the start of it and call it the name. All right. I don't use the word const because I am wanting it to, to actually change something. Um, and that's all that I need. So these two here of the accessor um, member functions. And this is the uh, mutator one, the one that actually sets the information. So I'll do the same with this other one, void set, and we want to set what? Passport. Um, and we can do that. We can then open up our brackets. String. Don't forget our semicolon at the end, otherwise our C++ won't work. So, um, you basically carry on and add the rest of these here. I'm going to just continue to do that, so that uh, oh, uh, my question is complete. Okay, so as you can see, 
see I forgot my um, little brackets over here. So that would have been wrong. Uh, we need those brackets. Just tell us that we've got no, nothing that we're passing it through. Okay, so that's that one done. And now we want to bring these this information. Okay. That is question 5.1. Six of the marks ready and done. I hope that you've uh, appreciated watching this video. And like I say, good luck with the exams. I'll continue to work through the questions a video at a time. Thank you very much. Goodbye.